by two-digit multiplication using the lattice method. This method is particularly useful for those with limited working memory as it's a process that is very step by step and you can stop at any moment and still return back to where you were without getting confused. So let's start with the grid. The first thing we have to draw is a grid like this. If we're doing a two digit by two digit multiplication, which is the one we'll start with, we just need four squares inside a grid. So once we've drawn those four squares, then we just need to draw diagonal lines from one corner all the way through like that. And we end up with a grid. Next thing we need to do is go and put our numbers on the grid. So let's start with 32 times 67. Now, each square represents part of the working out. So this square here relates to the 2 and the 6. So 6 times 2 goes into this square, and it is 12. So put the 1 there and the 2 there. 6 times 3 goes into this square here, and we it is 18. So we put the 1 there and the 8 there. Now we go down to the second layer and we're starting on the sevens. So seven times two is 14 and we put that there. And then the last one is seven times three, which is 21. Right, now we've done most of the inner working of a two digit multiplication. We now need to come to the answer. And this is where you'll need to look at the, uh, the, the diagonal columns that we've created. So we've got one diagonal column here got another one here, another one here, and another one here. And these actually relate to the place values. So we just want to add up this one here. This first one, as you might have guessed, is the ones. Okay, and the only number we've got in that is a four. The next column that we're coming to is this one here, and that would be the tens. And if we add up, we get one and one and two, and we get to four. The next column here is, as you might understand, is the hundreds. And we've got, interesting here because we're going to spill. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 2 is 11. So that's going to spill over to a 1 here and then a carry on here. Now we're in the thousands column and we've got 1 and 1 to add up and we get 2. So then we need to read the number. And the way that we read the number is by going around. So the number is actually 2144. So that's the two digit multiplication method using the lattice method. And you can expand the lattice method as far to the left as you wish. All you need to do is just draw more squares into your grid.